This is the SoCal Update. I'm Cara Santa Maria. We learn about the exploitative labor camps behind the famous Mount Low tourist attraction. It's Friday, September 3rd. Historic Mount Low, with its quaint Ye Alpine Tavern and resort guest cottages, is an iconic Los Angeles attraction from the early 1900s. The lesser known history is that it was built by Mexican workers housed in unsafe labor camps. Melissa Rovner reports for KCET. Melissa, tell us the backstory here. Well, Mount Low was renovated in the early 20th century by one of LA's most prominent developers, Henry Huntington. But as with many of LA's famed tourist attractions, the popular narrative of Mount Low disregards the laboring populations that underpinned its development. Huntington was notoriously anti-union, hiring Mexican immigrants at low wages to build his infrastructural empire. These histories can be difficult to uncover, but in the case of LA's labor camps, many appeared in the publications of health officials at that time. With the rise in cases of tuberculosis, inspectors sought to expose dangerous housing conditions. Though the cultural inclination of Mexican inhabitants was often blamed, the research shows instead it was employers like Huntington and the Pacific Electric that constructed unsanitary conditions. Labor camps were designed to house the maximum number of workers in the least amount of space with minimal investment. And how do we see the legacy of this story playing out today? LA's Latinx populations are disproportionately employed in low-wage service occupations. So it's no surprise that as of June of last year, COVID contractions were much higher among these populations in LA County. It is my hope that by exposing these histories, new perspectives may be open that consider the contributions of the built environment to systemic inequalities such as these. Thanks, Melissa.